This episode is brought to you by the legends at EC Off-Road. For anything four-wheel drive, the only place to go. All right, so we're out here. We're just out from Wellington Point, actually, and we're chasing some cuttlefish. We tried for a couple of hours on the squid and we couldn't buy one, so we come up here, stopped on a random area that we seen a bit of weedy, rubbly ground on the structure scan, and yeah, boom, straight into a couple. There they are there. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time trying to get a couple of them for some food. And then we're going to wait till this westerly drops off, which it's starting to lose its puff now. Then we're gonna head offshore. We're gonna do some jigging for some snapper. And then we're staying out in the boat overnight tonight around Peel Island. We're gonna do some spearing tonight in the dark. We're gonna chase some tuskies or something tomorrow. So stay tuned. This should be a, a good one, hopefully. The fish slayer had a um, cracking size bloody cuttlefish on there before, didn't you? I did. Gone. Yeah, it was our first time trying for cuttlefish, so yeah, good. Anyway, I'm gonna go up and do another drift. Oh, <gasps> you bugger! He got off. <laughs> Had yeah. one on there. I reckon that was a good one too. Yeah, he was. Um, he was pulling some string. That was good though, because he left it drifting. Yeah, he was pulling some string. Damn. We ain't wasting these for bait. Are we? Hell no. <laughs> I hate when I see guys slay like 50 of them. You know who you are, you bloody gurus at it. And they use them all for bait. Nah, that is, that is just not right. <laughs> that is food. You gonna spit at me? I'm losing. Hey. Ooh, there's a bit of ink. <laughs> Where'd that go? Uh, in the, out into the water. There it is. Look at that. Ooh, chunky. Nice cuttlefish. That's what we're chasing. Look at that, they're cool. Yeah. All right, watch out for this bit. Do you to stick your finger in his beak? No. Done that before. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that ink. That was close. Oh, oh you're right. Sure, you would be a bit more excited than that. I know. I was doing a different tactic, that says. It, there's one there, and I've got one on here. Get him, says. What an arrow squid here. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I do. Yes. Yeah, you still got yours there? Yeah. Is mine a squid or a cuddle? Cuddle. Cuddlefish. Yeah. You got him? Yeah. Ready? Oh, oh. Drop it back. Ah! All right. Got a few good cuttlefish in there now. I got five cuttlefish and one arrow squid actually, so that'll do us. We want to get offshore pretty quickly now. Um, so I'm going to clean a couple of these up just so they don't get ink everywhere. And then we're going to punch it way out that way. Yeah, this has been quite fun. <laughs> this is a bit of a messy job, eh? But anyway, I'm cleaning these up so we don't have all this stuff for our fridge. And then we're going to beeline it offshore. Have a look at this. Oh, I think I've got one here. All right, go get him. All right. <laughs> All righty. We're here. We're going to get some liveies just before we go through the bar. Yep, we've both got beanies on. Boganaz. Nice one, mate. No worries, mate. No worries, mate. Says it's got a mouse strapped to the top of hers. Um, yeah, so look at this. Keep alive, he's coming right up. This won't take long. Alrighty, well, it was a bit difficult to get live he's once again. I tell you what, there's not many, uh, not much bait around uh, in the bay at the moment. Well, running along there was for our usually usual bait spots, so it was bugger all. So we got two live in there. We're just wasting too much time, so I just want to get offshore, have a bit of a jig and stuff like that before the Arvo gets away from us. Uh, and we'll try and get some um, liveys where we're going to anchor up a little bit later. But I'm heading out to about 60 metres now. And yeah, we're going to try some jigging. We don't do that much, so give it a go. Anyway, have a go at this. There is like zero swell offshore. It's, it's non-existent. This is offshore. A couple of 
come through that bar just before is like you know a couple of little breakers on the southern end but nothing much at all so pretty confident to fish just till after dark out here and then head back and then maybe have a bit of a spear for some squid in the shallows that would be awesome anyway see how the fish slayer goes with a bit of jigging action oh my i give her about half an hour of jigging and then if she doesn't get anything <laughs> she'll be done <laughs> she trying to act all cool and stuff like. Oh, I'm going for you. Yeah, to start yeah, right, oh, right. I'm going for you to start spinning your shit. Uh, all right. We've just been cruising along. Have a look at this. We just come over that at 25 knots and that is why i have spent the money on getting this for uno reading right this is a mark that we don't have this is brand new literally just ran over this now we got it we got it now holy moly that looks amazing i'm gonna go back and have a slower thing over that but that looks really good and we're in 60 meters like says said it looks wreck like almost like a wreck but um mm. anyway we'll go back and, and have a look, better look at that man that looks Damn unreal it. didn't it wish we had the drone it's definitely not a wreck that's a rock the difference coming over oh hang on here we go oh. here we go yeah it's only see a big yeah no rock. it's not a yeah it's a rock with loaded with fish on top of it look at that i change that to a 20 meter 20 meter range wow all right we'll have a drift over that 100 percent all right we're just teeing up <laughs> whatever fish there were you just scared That's, them off that was the uh hatch for up the front this is our own waves that we're coming over anyway all right so very green at jigging us mob man says so anyway we're gonna have a go look at these but so these ones are from berserker like slow pitch jig look at that they look unreal and then says he's got this thing so this is called a meathead and it's got like look at, look, look at this in the sun so there that's your weight right there so that's 100 gram you got the skirt with three hooks off the bottom of it so what's cool about that is if you lose your bait this thing still sits in the rod holder bobs up and down you don't even need bait to catch a fish so anyway we're going to give them a crack see if they work all right have a look at this thing in the water it comes up it's flutters look at that i'm excited i'm excited barely hit the bottom she's already on the oh no nah, dropped it. oh what yeah it wasn't big it's was a little squire i think was it she's on fish? holy shit not a shark, is it? Oh, so weird, fighting. Maybe it was a shark that had it. I'm just gonna skull drag it up for some pain. Mm. <laughs> Take that on the first drop with the berserkers. <laughs> How's this? I know. That's a good squire. Yeah. Wow. Wait, what weird, man. <laughs> good looking little rock there, eh? That was good. I think says had the fish, had a little snapper, and then he got off. And yeah. then because it's got that head on it and the skirt and the hooks and that, bang, she hooked up straight again. So that was good, eh? So good. They're awesome. We'll see, yeah. That's exactly what would have happened, but Yeah, 100%. Oh, it's Next spot. That looks good. Hopefully that is a shitload of snapper. Wow. Ready? So you can see the big fish through here and it turns to bait all here. That's really, that looks really good. And you get jiggy with it. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> it's always good to see fish up feeding like that high off the bottom. Usually it means they're on the chew if they're around bait and all that sort of stuff. So <laughs> next minute, drift through, nothing. But it is a good sign to see fish up high feeding around bait. Fingers crossed, we might pull a fish or two off that. I'm jigging, says he's still got that meathead from Berserker on there. 
Bit of a meathead, aren't you? <laughs> she knew it was coming. <laughs> I was about to Look say, this. you're a meathead. Yeah, I know. Hopefully this isn't just a whole big thing of sharks. Surely not. Good show of fish there. Really good show. I lay the target species, but... It's just a baby. It's just a baby. It's just a baby. You don't say it right. How do you say it? It's just a baby. It's just a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh oh, hook something. She only little but little tiny squirrel I reckon. It's just a baby. Did I say it right that time? Mm, close. I'm just a baby. <laughs> like a meathead. Come on, mate. Play it nicely. What? Isn't it a beef eater? Meathead. <laughs> <laughs> beef eater. No, it's little. No, oh, It's a big one. Can't, my arms are buggered. You're right, holding him up. <sighs> buggered. Can you hold it? Put him down a bit. Can't see your head. That's a thing. Can you hold him up properly? A <laughs> <laughs> uh, little squirrel. Nice little keeper. That's going to be perfect for that recipe that like we love doing that one. Yeah, had a little one on that berserker. Meathead slash. Beef head. Beef head. Beef eater, didn't you call it? Beef eater, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying another little tactic now, proper float lining. So, Berserker do these cool little flies as well. Sound is lit at the moment, so I'm just gonna hurry up, just rig this pilly. Proper floating. So we've got like a two ball sinker because the conditions are just amazing. I feel like we're fishing a little bit too heavy for these fish. The conditions are just awesome. Even this is going straight down. And it's just a little pea sinker like that. So he's got another little panty there. <laughs> There's a lot of bigger stripes down there, that's for sure. You know the conditions are too good when you're float lining in 60 metres with a pea sinker and you get a snag. It's crazy. I don't want to lose this. This is a good fly. Whoa, there's some big whales. Look at these fellas. What do you say at the moment? Everywhere we go, the sound is lit with fish, and bait, and everything, and not much is chewing. So, we've tried jigging. We've got a few fish in the box already, but we've tried jigging. We've tried, there's the big whales. We've tried jigging. I'm float lining now. Says he's got the other jig on. She seems to be getting most of them on that meathead slash beef eater. <laughs> They're actually good at meathead, so yeah. So anyway, we're going to try here once or twice more. Then we're going to head south, and I want to be in the shallows later on the Savo, and I want to anchor up. There's not much current, and I really I like a bit of current for fishing for snapper and stuff. So we'll see how we go here for a little bit longer. The conditions are just amazing. Can you hear the whales in the background? Have a look at this. Oh, look at them all! <laughs> every time I bring every time I bring the camera out, they disappear. There's four big humpbacks. Well, two big ones and, and two little ones. There they are. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. This is a pea sinker and my line is going straight down. <laughs> no run, no fun. Anyway, days like this, it's just nice to be out here. That's what we're fishing on. Why weed, you call it? Why weed, fern, yeah. Wow. Stuff wrapped around it, like mm. it looks like good FG knot. <laughs> Pearlies love it. <laughs> Says he's on. Whoop, hang on. I think I'm about to be on too. Oh, hang on, maybe you've got me. I'll come oh, back really? to you. Oh, right. That's a decent fish there. Right, I don't even know if we got that because we had our first GoPro spack out since we bought the nine. But anyway, Sarah has just pulled a nice knobby on the meathead. On the beef eater. <laughs> yeah, good. I fived to that. Thanks. Well done. And we got a me mega tangle, so stand by. All right, we had to cut the line because we had a mega tangle, but how's that? These things, honestly, they really do work. So there you go. Nice knob, he says. I know, yeah, there's a knob on it. That's <laughs> such a little snapper. Well done. <laughs> okay, well, obviously now I too am dropping down a, <laughs> a meathead. <laughs> Good stuff. Next drop on the bloody meathead. 
Happy day. Yeah. Feel all right? Yeah. That, wall. that float line goes off. Make sure you look at that. That's a good little shot. Yeah. Not as big as yours, but keeper. Another nice squire. Squirey snapper. I'll be happy with that. You getting bites? Yeah. Stand by. Well done, baby. Got yourself a keeper. Small shit again. Oh. You got him? Yeah, it's tiny. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> Gotta be happy Loving with that. It, aren't they? Aren't they what? Beauty. Look at that. Now I've hooked up on the, uh, yeah, he's not a bad fish. I've hooked up on the um, pilly floating with that fly by Berserker, but not a bad, yeah, he's not a bad fish. Let it go. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Still got snapper at our feet. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Pull and drag. His little, uh, I was just floating him out on this little setup we got from the boys at Hot Tackle. Meant for jigging, but <laughs> I couldn't help to put a float line out in these <laughs> conditions, and <laughs> hopefully it's paid off. I'm about to get spiked yeah, in my he's leg. he's all right one, isn't he? Yeah, he's not bad. Close oh, to 60. You got, got yourself in a bit of a predicament there. Yeah, I got myself there. in a bit of a pickle there. <laughs> That's between your legs. We'll come back to you. <laughs> yep, I know. All right. Oh, there you go. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Mayhem. <laughs> we got snapper everywhere. These, these two haven't even bloody been bled yet. And we got this bloke. <laughs> Excuse you. It sounded mate. like you in bed this morning. Excuse you, buddy. Oh yeah, so he's a nice snapper. And so that's the flies that I showed you earlier on. You're going good. Yeah. Very happy. We're smashing them at the moment actually. I've said it before and I'll say it again, the conditions are just next level. How good is it? Sun setting, good little snapper chew, oh, couple yeah. of beers. The that's night's good. young. We're gonna we'll head in close still probably and chase another snap and release them or whatever if we get a big one, but I'm looking forward to tonight. Hopefully that wind just stays nice and light from the north. We're low tide at 7.30 and should be able to go hand spearing for some squid. So fingers crossed that happens. Oh, go, hang on. Oh, there we go. Live action, yee yee. <laughs> All right, we've come in shallow now. We're gonna have a, we've spot locked on this uh, spot we like to fish a little bit around this time of the year. Get some nice big snapper here sometimes. So. We're gonna have a little crack here till just after dark. How's that for a sunset, eh? And then rig up. But no, 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 we're not. We're just gonna drop straight down, are we? Take two. We've got the livey on top of the fly with the gangs all the way through the top of him. I'd love to say I'm lying, but the other one went whoop, like a bloody oyster in a shuck, shot out of my hand, went straight over the side. We've only got two liveys, and that one was Sarah's. <laughs> okay, so I don't know how well you can see it's getting dark, but We've just caught a baby Hassa. So these are predominantly more northern species like up Sunshine Coast and stuff like that. To be honest, I've never caught a Hassa off Stratty. But there's one right there. That's pretty cool, eh? <laughs> what the actual? That's crazy. Undersized, but still a Hassa. Yeah. All right, we're still sitting here. Me and Sez were just uh, talking about the old dolphin torches. Remember the old dolphin torches, like the yellow and like orange dolphin torches you used to get? All the, all the older crew, the, the OGs, you know what we're talking about. That's crazy. And Sarah's like, oh, they, they'd be awesome to have. And I'm like, nah, they'd be crap now compared to what's out there. He reckons they're you like, can't buy them anymore. I, reckon I don't you reckon can. you can buy them anymore. I don't I reckon know. You can. But because they're like a halogen bulb and that, they're not even that bright and they go flat in like a few hours, like if you left them on, whereas you can get a lead lenser now, see 25 times as far, 
it lasts 40 hours and you can recharge it. Dolphin torch, throw the battery away. They were great, but <laughs> technology, man, it's come a long way. And like I was saying, when we first started like spear and squid out of a boat and stuff like that, we used to have to like get like an old like big halogen light bulb or light out of like from a car or a, or a handheld old school spotty and hook it up to a big battery that you'd have in your in your boat and it'd like flatten a battery in like an hour or two. <laughs> it's uh, so funny but now yeah they've got lights that are just crazy with plenty of battery life like I wonder what they're going to come out with in another well 25 years. We'll just have night vision. Night vision yeah night vision goggles like oh seven squid right there and they last forever. <laughs> but um the old dolphin torch, I think, she's uh, extinct now. No, I don't reckon it is. Yeah, reckon? Let us know. Let us yeah. know in the comments. Have you seen them for sale lately? Have you seen a dolphin torch not for a, sale? Not at, like, the op shop. Yeah. Actually, and you know what? I, just a real quick thing. I thought of this the other day. Like, the views on our channel, I said it is. The views on our channel, we get, like, I don't know, between sort of fifteen and 30,000 views on average, like, in a few weeks. Like, 2% of them are our subscribers. And the rest are like new people and people that it might just must just go in in your feed and stuff like that so i want to put a challenge to you if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to our channel subscribe to it now pretty please what subscribers is awesome for is it shows the youtube algorithm that oh this youtube channel is popular or liking commenting and subscribing to all your favorite channels not just ours if you have favorite channels and you're not subscribed subscribe because it really does help them and the algorithm goes oh this channel is very popular we're going to push this out to more people and youtube make money through ads that they put on our stuff so it really does like sort of help uh the youtubers out um, if you guys do subscribe or, or like and a comment. So I never ask like, oh, leave a comment or a like or subscribe or anything. But if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, it would be awesome if you could subscribe because it's, I watch our subscribers and it just like just trickles over. <laughs> it's so slow. I know, comment below about the dolphin torches. Don't know what we're yeah. doing. Don't know what we're doing wrong. But anyway, comment below about the dolphin torches. <laughs> leave a like and subscribe. You want to go in for some dinner soon? Yeah. This is boring. Oh yeah, and look at this. She's finished this whole tray of vegetables since she's been out here. About four packets of chips, a packet of beef jerky, a packet of like this weird popcorn stuff. What else? Popcorn? I haven't had popcorn yet. It's like a weird caramel popcorn-y stuff. I haven't had that. Yes, you have. The packet with the yellow in it. You said, do you want one before I eat them all? Oh no, they're pop lotus seeds. Pop lotus seeds. <laughs> weird popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> popcorn. Oh, far out. It's like, she's like a never ending um, pit, like uh, Homer Simpson in that episode where he goes to the seafood and he's like, you're not a man, you're a bottomless pit. <laughs> Have you seen that? <laughs> no. It's funny and he's just like, <laughs> and then he sues them because it's all you can eat, but they end up kicking him out because he <laughs> eats too much. <laughs> so then instead of paying him out, they get him in there as a, um, like a, a, an attraction. So people come and just watch this guy just <laughs> eat anyway. <laughs> Pretty funny. It's that boring. <laughs> Looking uh, at someone who's doesn't let go of a rod, but <laughs> I told you this and it's true. I'm telling you. Look, it's holding the fish in. It is holding the fish in the moon. It's not tipping them out. They're all in that little crevice right there. All right, we just um, come through the bar here at night time. Very minimal swells are pretty easy, but um, still you've got to keep an eye out. And a couple of videos ago, I was talking about the shingles, which are the really sort of wavy bits that stand up like this on the inside. We shouldn't have any of them tonight because it's the, just gone from the low tide and it's starting to flood in now, so you can only really get them on the high tide. You'll see here it's dropped down to nearly 10 metres. This is where it usually would be standing up a fair bit, almost dead flat, so just remember that coming through here on the inside uh, on a really low tide, on the bottom of the tide. You won't have any shingles and stuff like that. It's always on the top of the flood, so yeah. Anyway, we're back in safe, time to go Get some bloody squid. All 
all right. So we've literally just been cruising along in the shallows on the way back and um, we've been looking for squid. I've seen two big arrow squid just sitting right on the surface. I didn't have the net, I wasn't expecting it. So he says it's up there now. But how's this? Just cruising along, we're like, what's that? Bloody pimp and nomad deep diver. Are you serious? Look at that. Like 20 bucks right there. <laughs> this says scooped it up with the net. Happy days. Someone got snipped off today. Yeah, so hey, if you lost that lure, we well, found it. Finders keepers. All right, we've just come into Peel Island. This here, this is Horseshoe Bay. I'm, they are all boats. Every light is a boat. <laughs> that is next level. You should see it in real life. I've never seen that many boats here before. How they're even, how they're even parking there, I have no idea, but anyway. What we're doing here is we're just cruising along with the electric and we're using uh, the electric to cruise around. We're gonna try and find a squid. I've got my hand spear here. So we're gonna give this a little crack and see how we go. If not, I'm gonna uh, jump in the water. I'm gonna walk with my waders and um, have a crack like that. But we're bound to see some cool stuff if we cruise along here for long enough. Just gotta be really careful through here because it uh, gets really shallow really quick. There's bombies and everything, so I don't want to take out any of the motors. <laughs> oh, is yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Where'd it go? There. Where? There. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's just staying out of reach, isn't he? Yeah, we're getting real shallow here. Yeah, I know. There he is, look. You know what? Oh, look. Oh. Did he come back towards us just then? Yeah, he did a bit, yeah. I'm just going to get in my waders and get in. Oh, okay. What you All right, got me waders on. Nearly. Ow. So I'm going to jump in the water. Now we've got spearing these fellas. Sarah, have you ever found me more sexy than you do right now? No. Hunter spunk, hunter gatherer. I know. Dinner time. How you going over there? Yeah, good. I'm surprised I haven't seen more than what I have. Yeah, especially because we saw four like very quickly. I've seen none now, eh? I wonder if I can walk straight over to you. No, nah, it's very deep here. It's very deep here, look. That's probably as deep as it gets there. Yeah, no, I'm good. I made it. I made it. I might have much. All right. Yeah, no, yeah, like a dead set. Seen three there in the shallows, and that's it. Now the reason I speared them for is because they're going to make great bait later on. They're quite small. Look at this. We're in about a meter of water, and the conditions are just unreal. There's little fish, everything everywhere, but. There's not many squid. We've seen about five or six squid, but they seem to be real finicky with that electric motor. Mm. Yeah, they don't like that with that noise. They don't, not fans of it. How good's that? Here's dinner. Pulled pork uh, on a wrap, grilled in the thing with coleslaw and cheese. You bloody beauty. Mm. It says does this in a pressure cooker the night before. So good to take in the boat. Easy. Nice and easy. Mm. That's unreal. He didn't want to put his gigi down. No. <laughs> I don't want to stop spearing. <laughs> All right. There's me three squid I speared. They're not big. I wouldn't usually spear them if they're that small, but they're going to make very good baits later on. Me and says you'll have a little fish when we anchor up. Just 
just cruising through the shallows using the electric still. We haven't seen any squid. Crazy, I cannot believe we Pop haven't seen them. It's crazy how um, how not many squid we've, we've seen. Like, this is just the most perfect night, perfect like area, perfect ground. Oh, I just can't believe, yeah. yeah. I thought they'd be everywhere. Yeah, that one just scooted off maybe in front. There, what's that in front? Oh, that's a fish. Uh -oh. I've just been food shopping at the supermarket. <laughs> What do you got in your woolies bag? Oh, just been to the seafood shop. What do you got? Oh, just a couple of big dogs. <laughs> Whoa, they're big. They're Whoa. massive, mate. <laughs> Look how big they are. Look. <laughs> Huge. Oh, God. Told you. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass you this. There you go. Two bloody beautiful Morton Bay squid. On the spear, it was pretty cool. Still surprised I didn't see a lot more of this, but yeah, they come out about a hundred mil of water, so you won't get them by cruising in the boat, that's for sure. Oh, they're so big. I haven't big seen squid. squid around here like that. Yeah, for ages. they're good, eh? If I could get their flaps to hang out, so you'll see. Look at that. Whoa. Big squid. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, been it's for the next few nights, eh? One day in that still warm glow Life's in long lost times ago Close my eyes so I can see the light Time stands still while the sun goes round Distant winds making silent sounds Daylight waves How is the morning on it? Oh, seven o'clock. We had a little bit of a sleep in in our little tent. This thing is just so good. Love sleeping in it. We've wrapped up the swag, stuff like that. It's actually really nice in the morning laying in here and like looking out through this little gap of the bow rail that all the boats go past. Very cozy. But we, we don't know if we've got a lighter to use a jet boil, so that's our next problem. So I'm gonna have to pull this little tent down now and um check that this is how easy it comes down ready got a little clip up here push that undo it undo it off this one undo it off that one then it just unclips from around the bow rail it's awesome eh yeah and you didn't snag my squid jig that's awesome too <laughs> all right tent's packed up now it's coffee and brekkie time what's for brekkie says cheese and bacon rolls <laughs> the old cheese and bacon rolls quick and easy and tasty all right, we're just doing a bit of exploring now, using the morning to look at a few places we've always come past and never seen. And a couple of wrecks over here and a little bit of a deep channel. Just trying to find our way in so we don't have to walk through the water. We've got about five, six hundred mil of water under us here. Yeah, it's weedy as. All right, so I've never been in here. We've come extremely shallow, but this here looks like an old, what it says we're saying, fish trap or something from back in the day. Could be completely wrong, but. I don't see what else it was. It's that's all rock scattered along there with a couple of wrecks piled into it. And you probably can't see it, but there's another big line of rocks that go, geez, all the way out there. They go a long way. We're gonna, we're gonna get in here, have a look around. Tide's coming in, so we should be okay to get back out. But anyway, let's go have a look. I'm gonna put my waders on. All right. Oh, how good our oh, waders. <laughs> What's up to your kneecaps? Got my gidgey, got me waders. A bit chilly. <laughs> That's definitely a fish trap. All the way along there. All the way along there. Tell you what, if you want oysters, there's a whole football field of them. More. Ten football fields. Oh. Cruising through this little puddle about 100 mil deep here. 
This thing would have a story. A twin hole. Hey, you can go inside it. Look at that. Oh, full of water. It's like a bloody fish tank. <laughs> Tell me there's no fish stuck in there. Look at that. I reckon there's a good chance you'd go straight through some of that with your foot. <laughs> Mangroves growing out the middle of it. Look at this. Mud crab claw. Big one. Mmm. Big mud crab claw. I hope you said permission to come aboard. Yeah, I did. I'm the captain now. You're the captain now. Doesn't feel like winter anymore. Bloody hard work walking through this stuff. Waders, long pants, socks. We're on our way back to the boat now. We're going to go chase a tusky. Hopefully that tide's turned and rolling on in. We'll cook up a mad feed on a little island just after lunchtime, I reckon. It's going to be good. As we patiently wait for a fish to take our lines, I've uh, picked a bit of local Strabroak Island produce here for Sarah to try. Let us know what it's like. <clears throat> I wish I had some lemon. Got a bit of shell in there. Good. Yeah, that is actually so good. Is it? Mm. <laughs> Damn it, I wish we got more now. Mm. That was about 15 million back there and I just shucked it for it. Don't throw them, there's more on there. Strati has some of the finest seafoods, best prawns I've ever tasted. Says reckons that some of the nicest oysters she's ever eaten. Definitely. Morton Bay bugs, all sorts of stuff. What are you calling it for? Oh, hi. Dewey? Oh, my God. I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be a shark. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a big one. Ooh, how's the viz? All right, we've given up on the fishing. It's non-existent out there for the tuskies, but that was always to be expected. We're gonna come into a cook up on this island now, but we're just cruising through the shallows and having a look at uh, all the wildlife. Look how clear it is. There's been turtles everywhere sitting in the thing like, it's that clear, it's, it looks shallow, but it's still like 1.7 meters in that shallow bit. A massive big sea cucumber. Wowee. Big old eagle in its nest there. Oh. Squid. No, flatty. In the middle of that sand. See it? <laughs> Pretty good when you can spot flatty from like 15 metres away, eh? Yeah. All right, let's go get a feed. Own little slice of paradise here. It look real rocky in there. Yeah. It's not too bad though. Kind of like what we pulled up at the wreck. Yo. How good's this? Secluded little beach. Tell me what it is. Get the boat, spot locked just there. Got the remote on me. That's good because then you can control it to go out and in further or closer if you need it to. Look at this. About to cook up my favourite food, have a beer in uh, this little paradise island, which makes you feel like you're a million miles away from everything, but you're not. There's boats all around us. Alrighty, this is a cuttlefish that we caught yesterday. Beautiful. We've got fry pan in the boat. <laughs> All right, look at that. Three minute meal. <laughs> a little bit longer than three minutes. Mm, maybe five minutes. No salt, no cupy, no lemon, no worries. Yeah. Doesn't need it, it's that good. Oh my God. You know the best part? The tentacles. Ah. <laughs> it's actually my favorite food, so out of everything, in the whole world, calamari is my favourite food. Isn't it? Yeah. I love it. 
That's why I like I give it to anyone that uses it for bait. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna enjoy this. Mm. As Sezzy would say, champagne taste on a beer budget. So let it shine, 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 shine on me. Let it shine, 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 shine on me. Some big waves just came. We got dramas. We got dramas. Oh no. Oh, this could be bad. Oh no, we're good. Oh, we're good. Where's the other one? Oh. Oh, me crocs. Oh, me crocs, I say. Alrighty, that's about it now. We're gonna pack up, head home. Turn this back on, hopefully it acquires it, which it has. And then drive it in a bit closer from here and um, hopefully we can get on without getting too wet. Ready? <laughs> Got one there. Carry the stuff out. Winning. That's great, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. Pulled the butt of the boat around while it was spot locked on the front. Literally had it like 500 mil off the uh, sand. It was just awesome. So now I'll do unspot lock, turn that way, and just drive us out of here with this. Electric motors, man. They are the best. See you later. Yoo-hoo. How good, says. He's just driving us on out of here. All right, guys, we're going to pull the pin on that episode. That's about it. We're going to do the trek home. We've got a lot of cleaning to do. We've got a few snapper to fill it. We're going to sit down. We're going to have some ceviche and some more calamari tonight for dinner. All right, I've missed the footy. It was on on the weekend. Sashimi? Ceviche. You want, you want ceviche? Yeah. Mm. Ceviche and crumbed cuttlefish or calamari. Oh, okay. Does that mean I have to go to the shop? Yes. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon. I think I've got enough stuff in the fridge for that. Maybe. Peace out. Say peace out. So. Peace out. <laughs> Plenty of merch online, guys. If you want to support the channel, jump over to outerline.com.au and go for gold. Cheers, legends. We appreciate the support.